1974, Philip Petit walked across the World Trade Center, snuck up, put a wire from one World Trade Center to the other World Trade Center building, and walked across it. There's video. There was a book. He became somewhat of a local celebrity. Well, now we all know what happened with 9-11, and they're rebuilding the Freedom Tower, and they're now calling it One World Trade Center, and it's just about done. There was a story uh, the other day where some kid sort of snuck past a security guard and, and went to the top. Now, just released is uh, three kids, young adults, well, not so young, 32, 33, and 27, and 29, four of them total, are accused, and it's pretty guilty. They snuck through a little opening in the fence, didn't they? There's a video of it, yeah. yeah. They went to the top, and in the middle of the night, they jumped off of the World Trade Center. The video, which we are showing here on the Big 550 KTRS, go to KTRS.com. We're also going to show it at stltoday.com, and you can we'll send it out so you can see it as well. Um, they jump 1,776 feet to the bottom. They take a running jump, and with a helmet cam, they jump, and it's like a Spider-Man movie. It is. Only this is real. It's real. <laughs> and they, the first half, if you will, they jump straight down. And then you can see the camera, the herky-jerky of the camera as they open up the parachute. And then they then float down to Earth. What's interesting about this is it's one thing to jump off a canyon ridge. It's another thing to jump off in the middle of all these other buildings. I know. That's what I was saying. I mean, first of all, when you land, you could land in the street. I saw a car driving by when one of the guys landed. Right. I mean, they could have landed on top of a car. They could have gotten hit by a car. The fact that they, first of all, survived jumping. Right. And then are able to tell the story. They're charged with felony burglary, misdemeanor, reckless endangerment, and misdemeanor jumping from a structure. I didn't know that was a law. The four men were released last night on um, $3,500 bail. They all pled not guilty. They could face up to seven years in prison. Um, Here's the killer part, though. It took them six months to find out who these guys were. <laughs> I mean, and apparently one of the guys works there, I, I believe. We found, the a, building. we found a spot where the cameras were not picking up and where there happened to be a hole in the fence as well. That's how they got through, mm. as you're talking about, with, with the gap in the fence. Um, it's six months after the fact. We're a bit shocked that they spent that much time and energy continuing to pursue something that they knew was not a terroristic act. Monday's arrest comes, six, uh, comes after 16-year-old was arrested on charges of climbing to the top of the nation's biggest skyscraper. It, it is... Um, it is... Truly, I, I mean, I know it's bad. I know it's wrong. But it's so extraordinary that somebody would actually want to do this. I know. <laughs> and then, and then, then at the end of the video, you see him running away. I mean, it's almost like a Saturday Night Live video where they're running away and they sort of take their suit off and they, and they like, yeah, leave the, right. the parachute like there skip. and they just sort of kind of run away. Yeah. And one of the guys said it was really serene or something like that when they were going down. I would have been terrified. I'd be, like, screaming on the way down. There you go. It's going to be the uh, story of the day. We've got the video. We just showed it. We're going to tweet it out to you. It'll be out on Facebook here in a matter of moments. So follow us on Twitter, at McGraw Millhaven. Yell at us on Facebook. We'll get it out there as soon as possible. Some extraordinary video, though. Uh, 758.